All right, it's been five years since a gunman opened up fire on a congressional baseball practice, hurting Congressman Steve Scalise and four others. I know, and we are grateful that Steve Scalise did survive. And he credits Congressman Brad Winstrup for saving his life. And both men are joining us live right now because they are going to be taking the field tonight at the congressional baseball game. Carly Shimkus is live with them at Nationals Park in Navy Yard, D.C. Hey, Carly. Yes. Hey, good morning, guys. It's great to see both of you. It's been five years. What do you remember, Congressman, about that moment? And what do you want other people to remember? Yeah, well, I mean, of course, that day, I was just fighting for my life. Uh, by the time I got to the hospital, I was out and was in a coma for three days. So, you know, it was one of those deals where you knew at the moment something bad was going on, and it felt my body shutting down. But Brad was there the whole time, uh, checking on me, making sure that he could at least stop the blood. I, I arrived at the hospital with a zero blood pressure. They said I didn't even have a minute left. If, if this guy wouldn't have jumped into action so quick and, you know, put a tourniquet to stop the bleeding, I wouldn't even made it to the hospital. Wow. So he's one well, of my heroes. Yeah, I was fortunate to, for some reason, I changed my mind to go to the batting cage instead of the outfield. So I wasn't trapped on the field. And I could see the shooter. I could see Steve. I could see where the Capitol Police were. And so that was very fortunate. And all I kept thinking was keep my eye on Steve, get to him as soon as you can. It was a very eerie sight to see one person left out on that field, and it was Steve laying there. And you're saying that it could have been much different. You could have been right alongside him, but by the grace of God, you were in a safe location. I was in a so very good location. So when the shooting location. stopped, you could get to him and save his life. Right. I had to move once because the shooter kept moving, and he was one time shooting right down my lane where I was on the other side of the field. But uh, once I had the chance, I got out to Steve and, and assessed him just like I did in Iraq, you know, when you, oh when you have wounded coming in. And actually, his case reminded me of one in Iraq. And uh, so I, I knew right away that he was in much more trouble than people thought because they only saw the entry wound, and I could, was able to visualize what was going on inside. And is take this care a situation where time sort of slows down for you as this is all playing out? I can't imagine what that moment must have been like. Yeah, you know, it's very strange. Maybe it's because of a year in Iraq under heavy fire all the time that I was just pretty normal about things. Wow. I felt natural and, and just went to work, but I was deeply concerned. And fortunately, some of the things I said to the medics before they took them away, they re it registered oh my that gosh. he was in worse shape than most people thought. God put you there for a reason. Yep. How are you feeling right now? Feeling great. Look, it's been a long road to recovery, but uh, God performed miracles that day, putting Brad there, David Bailey and Crystal Griner with Capitol Police, who both were shot during the shootout and yet ultimately took the shooter down to save all of us that were there. Yeah. And, uh, you, and know, you share a unique bond with those people now. Yeah, they are just like family. And, really? And so they're true heroes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dave's still on my team. Yeah. And Crystal, she's still with Capitol Police, and we talk on a regular basis. You know, on the anniversary of the shooting, we always talk. Uh, just about that shared experience and you know how lucky we all are that we still get to you know get to be with our family do the things we love and it uh, could have turned out very different never that day. take a moment for granted never take right? anything for granted he's um, tough yes I mean, he is tough I mean everything I know everything he went through surgically and all that and uh, look he He's out here playing baseball. And no you cane, played nothing. baseball the next year, and you yeah. made an yeah. incredible play. That was, uh, again, that was a, a God moment. If you don't believe in miracles, talk to me because I'll show you a lot. You should write a of book. Miracles, and uh, we wrote a book. It's called Back in the Game. Get we the could book. Plug that, but uh, get the book. Yeah, go uh, see the miracles it? and Back the in the game. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, you guys won last year. Do you think that you're gonna? There's gonna be a repeat performance this year. As I'm looking at Congressman Stuby, he's in the dugout right now, and he hit that home run. Yeah, he he hit the first home run out of the big league ballpark in this game, and uh, last year that was unexpected. Joe Biden was actually in the dugout. We're talking about you and your happened. home run. So this is the big home run hitter. You're on Fox <laughs> News, but uh, oh, he have uh, this guy can knock it out of the park, and, and he did it in the big league ballpark. So uh, and he woke up extra early because he was on Fox and Friends first. So you get a gold <laughs> star as well. Yeah, he's gonna hit two out today. <laughs> You're gonna. Two. Pressure's on. We gotta, we gotta go defend our title. This is gonna be a really good game. We're ready to play. Oh, well, it's so good to see you. I, I love coming to this event. The energy is amazing. And it is a bipartisan event. It's a lot yeah. of fun. And we and raise about a million and a half dollars for local yep. charities, too. It really is great who it helps. Isn't that great? I can't believe that. That is yeah. amazing. That's something that everybody can celebrate, right? Guys, back to you in the studio. It is indeed, even though there are gonna be protests, and we'll talk about that a little later on. Carly, thank you very much.